Yo, what up guys? It's Matt from Carp Launch Sound. Uh, today we're going to be taking a quick look at Reason 8. Um, I'm actually really excited about this update and this is coming from somebody who actually stopped using Reason for a few years because I just felt like the workflow was uh, pretty awful to be honest with you. Um, so I shelled out for the upgrade and uh, so far I'm, I'm really pretty satisfied with it. Um, the main things you're going to find benefit in are definitely going to be the browser. I would say that's the number one um, thing you're getting with this update. They also did do some um, enhancements, some slight tweaks to the piano roll MIDI editor and obviously as you can tell the user interface is been redesigned and I I like it a lot I think uh, it's much cleaner and these little tabs right here um, definitely make navigating through you know the mix of the rack and the sequencer while you're composing much quicker so I think you're gonna enjoy that well as well um, so I guess uh, let me just open up I think I got a blank project over here pretty much yeah okay so basically um, I'm just going to kind of go through real quick and show you kind of what the browser can do for your workflow. Um, so let me just throw, I'll throw in a Kong right here. And so basically the, the, the drag and drop is seriously really nice. Um, obviously, you know, you can drag this in and that's really been no different from the, um, the older toolbar that you can access. Um, where is it from here and I know um, I believe you used to be able to set that up so that you could uh, drag your instruments in from there but the real benefit you're gonna find with this which is awesome so say let's just reset this device here um, you know you can just go into wherever your drum sounds are uh, and I'll just grab some right here real quick. Uh, let's see. And these are uh, sounds in HD. Shout out to sounds in HD. Real good drum sounds. Check them out. Actually, let's go for something a little less distorted. Go here. Um, grab that one. that one definitely grab that one let's see I like both of those two actually so we'll get that one uh, now let's grab a snare real quick that one uh, and then maybe like a little 808 hi-hat real quick all right so I mean that's obviously really nice that's really quick to just go through um, you know grab your drum sounds it also makes it a lot easier for example um, when you have an older project that you saved but you didn't um, like compile it all. I think you can, you know, save save a self-contain, um, and maybe you moved your samples. So with the old browser, it used to be really tedious to have to go through and load those in, and you know now you can do it this way, which I think is uh, much much better. And the awesome thing that they did with the drag and drop, I think, is I mean they've really included it in every instrument. So for example, even Kong, I mean uh, Redrum you can go in you know find some samples you want um, and just uh, drag them right in which is awesome I think it's genius because it adds really a whole new functionality to one of Reason's oldest modules which is pretty cool 
But anyways, um, let me show you a little bit more. Uh, I think you probably noticed when I was searching for stuff up here, uh, there was a little orange bar, and basically what that's doing is trying to find um, patches. It's trying to basically suggest patches to you, so that's really cool too. So say I grab a mouse from here, you can see it brings me to kind of the generic um, first presets that automatically show up for Maelstrom and then you know you can click through the various categories or you can come up here and you can search and it'll bring you to all the base presets for Maelstrom which is really nice um, it just makes finding sounds so much easier and again you know um, say maybe I want some mallets Bam, look at that. The entire library just got searched. And uh, now we can pull in one of these if we wanted to. So um, just to kind of give, give you a quick idea of the workflow, I'm actually just going to try to make a beat real quick. Um, so we'll see what I come up with. Um, I'm just going to toss in, actually, just use this one right here. Uh, we'll reset that. I always like to just start with the stock sound and um, kind of build things up. If I go to my sequencer over here, see it's just really quick to jump around. Um, So I'm going to try uh, something like that. I'm not really feeling that synth too much right now, so we're going to see what else we can uh, pull out of this. So you guys are seeing my whole workflow here, uh, warts and all. Obviously this is uh, far from perfect.
bass sounds really drive me nuts. Oh wait, that's the wrong one. <laughs> pause that for a second but I think I'm pretty much gonna stop here for today um, I hope that was somewhat useful to you guys um, you know in making your purchase decision or you know if you were just curious about the software um, I'm probably gonna do another follow-up review once I spend some more time with this um, in the meantime if you have any questions or there's anything you want me to make a video on definitely feel free to you know leave a comment or send me a message um, and I'm also interested in um, knowing what you guys think. Did you purchase the upgrade already? Did you think it's worth it? I'm kind of on the fence. For those of you who have maybe version 7 and you paid for the upgrade to 8, you know, are, do you feel it's worth it? Are you enjoying it? What do you think needs to be added to the program? I mean, for me, really the only thing missing is just um, the MIDI paint notes on the sequencer. I think that's really the only thing keeping it from being killer workflow wise so anyways thanks for watching uh, see you next time